object. I am not Miss Preston. Last October 2023, we filed against John Crook and Lynette for civil protection orders. They have constantly engaged in unprotected speech. And considering the website that they've met on, they've engaged in more than just speech that was unprotected. Twenty twenty three zero nine three five nine four. Jeremy Hales versus John Cook. Present in the courtroom is the petitioner Jeremy Hales. Correct. Correct. And you are here with counselor, uh, counsel attorney Heller. Correct. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Also present on by video conference is the respondent John Cook. Correct. Correct. All right. And Mr. Cook, you understand why you are here and you're prepared to go forward with this hearing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Very good. So we are going to go forward. Um, Mr. Heller, are you calling your client first as a witness? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I'm gonna ask uh, Mr. Hales if you'll raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to testify truthfully in this matter under penalty of law? I do. All right, thank you. Mr. Heller, you may inquire. All right, Jeremy, as before, state your name for the record, spell your last name. Jeremy Hales, H-A-L-E-S. And do you live in the state of Ohio? Yes, I do. We're here because uh, you're seeking a protection order from Mr. John Cook. Correct. And you've received millions of views online and, and generate support by doing that, is that correct? Yes. Um, and do you believe Mr. Cook was one of the people who was viewing your content at some point? Absolutely. And, and can you talk about your first interaction that you ever had with Mr. Cook? My first interaction was when Mr. Cook and Ms. Preston arrived in Otter Creek, Florida, where I own roughly 75 acres and they shared with me that they purchased property right across the street from me and i was invited over or asked to bring my tractor to remove a downed tree on a piece of property that wasn't even legally theirs and so they had me trespassing on a piece of property without my even knowledge and um did the relationship between you and your neighbor sour absolutely can you express to the court how that has happened? Well, the neighbors moved to Otter Creek in an effort to try and get money from me. They have witnessed me give roughly well over a million dollars on the YouTube platform, if not much more. And they latched on to a phrase that I typically would say as a joke in the videos, I love Dodos. And Just for the record, uh, can you say that one more time and a little bit more clearly? Well, I, 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 yes, I love turtles. The way I said it the first time is the way that I usually state it. And, and that's from a very popular YouTube video of yes. uh, a young boy uh, in Halloween makeup. Is that correct? Yes, dressed up as a zombie, news interview, and the broadcast interviewer asked a question, and his only answer is, I love dodos. And so from a result of that video, that was a common phrase you would say on your, your channel. Yes, sir. And then Mr. Cook and Mr. Preston moved in sometime shortly after? Yes, and began what they claim is a turtle and tortoise rescue and began to ask for funding and different physical in-kind items. And, um, and the only thing I ever gave was a leapster for a child that lives on the property. But uh, I refused all requests, and from there, things went out of control. What was the first thing that kind of jump to your attention to something that was out of control? Well, they would post signs about different uh, people all over Otter Creek, not only... I object, Your Honor. Okay. This was, these signs were placed in Otter Creek, Florida, and not in the state of Ohio. Okay. Uh, that objection is overruled. I will allow the testimony. In other words, Crook admits that he knows all about the signs. This is guilt. And if you thought Lynette was dumb, Crook is going to prove in this video he's twice as dumb. Remember, Lynette calls him a rug addict, a rug dealer. Lynette says he abuses all kinds of children, and yet he's still with her. He absolutely has to be twice as dumb. And that's not an opinion. He's going to prove it. So they've been placing signs over Otter Creek. I'm now showing you what I'm going to mark as plaintiff's exhibit A, and I'm going to place this on the overhead device for Mr. Cook to see. Might have to adjust, there you go. All right. Mr. Cook, can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Mr. 
Mr. Hale, do you recognize this photo? Yes, I recognize the photo. Is this a photo of you? Yes. And in this photo, there is a sign that says, No Ohioans in Levy County. Hold on one second, Mr. Howard. I'm going to move this microphone over here to make sure that Mr. Cook can hear you clearly, as well as that our recording system is getting a good, clear record of you as well. All right, Mr. Hales, this sign is a photo of you holding a sign that says, No Ohio in Levy County, stop Jeremy Hales. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And the photo is you holding the sign? Yes, sir. There's a total of 13 signs and writing on both front and back on all 13 signs in my hands. Um, and did these signs make you feel nervous for your safety? Extremely. Can you express to the court why that is? Well... Mr. Cook has pointed a firearm at me previously as well. So I object, Your Honor. That also was this was um, it took place in the state of Florida, and the prosecuting attorney said Mr. Hales lied and altered his video. Overruled. I'll allow the testimony, Mr. Cook. You you are welcome to object as you have been, and then the court will make its ruling. And then you'll be given an opportunity to cross-examine Mr. Hale on any testimony that he gives. So overruled, you may continue, please. I'm now going to show you what's being marked as plaintiff's exhibit B. Your Honor, on that, on that photo too, on those uh, posts, I also object that I did not do that. And in the last court case, they absolutely said somebody else did that. And I appreciate that objection. It is overruled. I'll allow the questioning to continue, please. Jeremy, do you recognize hey. this exhibit? Yes, I do. Uh, is this a screenshot that you took? This is a screenshot that either I took or somebody sent to me. And this, the name at the top is John Cook, is that correct? Yes, sir. And can you read this post for the court? From John Cook, admin. Check. Hold on, overruled. From John Cook, admin of this Facebook page, he states, I see the coward of Levy County and his of a wife are posting more lies, and his sheep believe it. God, they are stupid. Well, I guess it's time to put the signs back up. It'll be very interesting to read. Uh, does this lead you? Uh, I object. The sign was posted. It's a big sign, and it's about a councilman in Otter Creek, Florida. Okay, it has hold on. Mr. It Chris. says sign. And here he is giving more detail about the sign. Singular, your honor, singular. It was the sign that he posted about Russ the Sus, Stuart Stewart, Mary Mary, Dirty Warm, and the list goes on and on and on. Who put signs up in Otter Creek? We already know. It's Crook and Lie Net. And if you think he's dumb to admit multiple times to it, wait till you hear him trying to read. The guy is utterly illiterate. Mr. Cook, you have... You have the right to object, as I've said, okay. but this does not give you an opportunity to present your testimony and evidence at this time. You'll be given an opportunity under oath to present your testimony and evidence, such as that was not a okay. sign that I put up or that was not a sign related to Mr. Hale, things of that nature. You'll be given an opportunity to give whatever testimony or evidence you feel necessary. So your objection okay, is over. I'm ready. Put your next question, please. So... Mr. Hale, putting the sign back up, did that lead you to believe that the sign shown to you in Exhibit A was one written by Mr. Cook? Yes, sir. And um, do you believe Mr. Cook was the only person to post signs about you? No, Mr. Cook and Miss Preston. So, in addition to just this post about you, is that the only time Mr. Um, Cook has posted about you? No, Mr. Cook and Ms. Preston continue to post daily and to communicate about me daily, regardless of the ex parte civil protection order in place, regardless of even the court case on Tuesday with Ms. Preston, she's continued to post daily. I object. 
I am not Miss Preston. Sustained. Now showing you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit C. Uh, can you say what this is? Yes, that is a Facebook page created by John Cook called the Otter Creek Jeremy Hales, the Coward of Levy County. Um, and there's a description written by Mr. Cook on the bottom. I know it's kind of upside down for you. Are you able to... I, I can read it. It also. says, this page is for ex-fans of What the Hales. And is What the Hales your YouTube content I also page? Object. Yes, sir. That is my content page. Hold on. When there's an objection, then, you know, we'll quit talking so that I can rule on the objection. Um, what, what is your objection, Mr. Cook? Uh, that page was started but by me and a man, gentleman named Chris, and I gave that page away to Mr. Chris months and months ago. Okay. Overruled. Overruled. That is testimony that you can give when it is uh, when you are under oath. So overruled. Please proceed. And so creating this Facebook hate group of you, how has that made you feel? Extremely threatened, unsafe. <laughs> Now I'm showing you what is being marked as Petitioner's Exhibit D, if I can find my stickers. Oh, they're here. This is Plaintiff's Exhibit D. I'm now showing you another post by Mr. Cook. Can you read this post to the court? Yes, by John Cook. He states, I believe I heard from a very reliable source that the reason they went to Egypt was to recruit some of George. On what on what grounds? These are more posts that he's having his fans um, recreate. They take screenshots of my website and my name and redo this stuff. Okay, overruled. Again, that is just. I actually had to Google those words this morning on how they do it. Again, that is testimony that you can present when you are under oath. Your objection is overruled. Proceed. Thank you. Finish reading the, the post. May I start from the beginning again? Sure. From John Cook, he states, I believe I've heard from a very reliable source that the reason they went to Egypt was to recruit some of George slash family to bring them into Otter Creek because they want to make the Ark into a radical Muslim mosque, making me happy to have her family here so they can always scream racist people are bothering them. And this post, you believe, was written by whom? That was written by John Cook. Now... George slash Mark, is that your partner? Yes, that is my significant other on the channel. She goes by George. Her legal first name is legal. Middle name is George. Does this make you feel nervous for her safety? Her safety, my safety, and her family's safety. Uh, and by claiming that she is an Islamic radical, uh, do you believe that this is inciting other people to harm you? Absolutely. What date was this posted? Be able to answer that question. I don't have the date particularly, and was out in the hallway. If we can ask her, that. Mr. Hales, was this posted within the last three months? This was posted within the last six months. It was not a month ago. It was anywhere from six months to two months ago. Um, I'm now showing you what is being marked as plaintiff's exhibit E. This is another post made by Mr. Cook that has come to your attention. Is this a post that was given to you or that you observed online? Yes, sir. And are you able to, uh, let me twist it so you can read it. Thank you. Um, are you able to read that to the court? Yes, sir. From John Cook, he says, I just came in from working outside all day to have two messages from two different news channels from Ohio wanting to interview me about Jeremy Hales from the YouTube channel, What the Hales, about his public rant against the I himself. object, Your Honor. On what basis? The public rant was put out by a YouTuber named Millhouse. John's ready to throw so many people under the bus, he can't even get their YouTube name right. So we've had Chris so far, now Millhouse, which is wrong. And by the way, he does say it correctly. Further on in the hearing, which we are not going to promote this grifter. He's a horrific individual. He's a lifeless, horrible human being. And then he's also going to throw another individual just like that under the bus. Marli 
huge. Overruled. I'll let him read this post and then you can explain as you feel necessary during your testimony. Proceed. May I start again? I'm going to ask you. you to start in the middle here. Okay, they are also you. very interested. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. They are also very interested in talking to me about Dan Smayer of Ohio, since they also received a video about him agreeing with Jeremy Hales that it's okay to talk to me and the entity in the way he did. This should be very interesting. And thank you to whomever sent it to the news team and also sending the videos to the news team. It's greatly appreciated. Now, posting where you live in Ohio, what does that make you feel in terms of your safety? Extremely unsafe. Now, that post there about Pinocchio, was that done within the summer? Yes, sir. I'm now showing you posts from that I will mark as Plaintiff's Exhibit F. These posts are dated June 13th of 2023. Are these more posts that you received or are aware of from Mr. Cook? Yes, sir. Uh, will you please read the first post into the record? From John Cook, he states, We all need to say prayers and put our feelings aside because the coward of Levy County's girlfriend or wife's... I object. Thing, sir. I object. Who is this written to? Okay. Overruled. And certainly that is up to plaintiff to establish. So I will let... I will let the information be brought in, and then certainly you can cross-examine as you need to. Okay. okay. Continue reading that post. From John Cook, we all need to say prayers and put our feelings aside because the coward of Levy County's girlfriend or wife's rectal cancer has come back, and they're having to go in and cut out a lot of it. And then uh, 27 minutes later, he wrote... John Cook wrote, Jill, I just wrote your grandson, Zach, and told him how you're helping a YouTuber destroy a disabled woman's and a disabled child's life. More letters I going... Object. Overruled. More letters going to more family members. Welcome to the page and have some fun. And then lastly, on the bottom, will you read the final post there? From John Cook, he states, Is anybody else sick of the coward of Levy County talking about his two-inch pipe? Shouldn't that be private between him and me? And nothing to be proud of, Marcy, despite. Or it's better since she does have rectal cancer. It's pretty obvious someone's too ignorant to even know how to spell desperate when they're posting on Facebook. And he shows his pipe envy quite a bit. As a matter of fact, he can't stop talking about my two-inch pipe. Or the plumbing fitting in the back. So these posts talking about health concerns, does that make you feel concerned for your significant other safety? Absolutely, and the harassment of both I and myself, John Cook constantly talks about what he wants to do with our buttholes. Uh, and so these posts make you feel concerned for your safety? In yes, sir. I'm now showing you another post. This post is going to be- I, mean, I, I have to object. I, I would like to know where I made a comment about his butthole or anybody's. Okay, and sir, again, you'll be given an opportunity to cross-examine Mr. Hales when the time is appropriate. Next. I'm showing you plaintiff's exhibit G. Can you, is this another screenshot that Mr. Cook made? Yes, this is from John Cook. I object. It's okay. another screenshot. It's another screenshot. Overruled. John Cook states, Jeremy, would you like me to post the picture of my cough? You can't take this one down. And so by posting this, does this also make you feel in fear for more? Absolutely. Uh, the sad nature of this is alarming and certainly unfounded. This harassment is out of control and alarming and our safety is at risk. Is this the only time he's posted messages like this? No, we have thousands. Is there a date on exhibit? I object, and I would like to see thousands out of him. Mr. Hales, Over if you road. could uh, give a time frame for this message. Within probably three months, this one. I'm sorry, sir. Did you say something, Mr. Cook? No, I'm making a note that I want to see thousands pictures. I'm just talking out loud. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Okay. I'm talking to myself. I'm now showing you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit H. Do you recognize this first image? Yes, that is John Cook holding a firearm that he previously pointed at me. And this was a... I object, Your Honor. This was also put in 
this was happened in Florida and the prosecuting attorney turned out that he lied and altered his video. Overruled. And I will say, Mr. Cook, I don't know anything about any other case. And That's if there, hold we, on, we, 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 my okay. turn, hold on. And if there is going to be evidence brought into this court that relates to another case, then that evidence must be presented in the proper way. So I will say for the purposes of what we are doing here, I'm going to allow this picture to be introduced. You can certainly cross-examine Mr. Hales and or present evidence of your own that if you feel that this picture is not proper or has been altered in some way. But this, this picture is, never took place in the state of Ohio. I, I, it doesn't have to take place in the state of Ohio in order for me to have jurisdiction for a civil stalking protection order. Mr. Okay. Hales has indicated to the court and has presented evidence to the court that this action is properly venued in the state of Ohio. Therefore, I have jurisdiction over this civil stalking protection order. Proceed with your next question, counsel. Okay. So this is a photograph. This is a clip from a video that you talk, took. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You had an argument with Mr. Cook. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And as part of that argument, he actually took out this gun. Is that correct? Yes, and pointed it directly at me. And is that pointing that gun at you? That is a lie. Has pointing overall. that gun made you feel unsafe? Very. Uh, the fact that he has access to firearms and is willing to brandish them made you feel unsafe? Very unsafe. Uh, and then after this, posting this photo, you did not post this photo. This was posted by someone named Lizzie Faley. Is that correct? That is correct. But Mr. Cook responded, and you were able to read that response by looking online. Is that correct? John Cook says, Lizzy Faley, is this all you can come up with as repeats? I have a picture of my in mouth. Can I Lizzie post it? Lizzy Faley, I object, Your Honor. Lizzy Faley is one of his alias names. It's amazing how people who scam and con and use aliases to scam and con somehow think other people have aliases. I don't even have enough time to watch TV in a given day. I have too many responsibilities and too much work to have any aliases out there. Overruled. And again, just to, for the record's sake here, exhibit uh, H has the word C with four stars. We believe the four stars to represent, yes, sir. Uh, and we previously already posted another photo of Mr. Cook talking about placing his his penis in this uh, mouth. Yes, sir. And I'm sorry, what's the date on Exhibit H? The dates are very important, so yes, keep up with me uh, here. What's the date on Exhibit H? That is within three to two months. So, has this conduct been consistent and continuous daily? Uh, so this continues to happen um, regularly because of Mr. Cook. Is that correct? Yes, sir. For purposes of judicial economy, I'm now going to do plaintiff's exhibit I. This is another message posted within the last two months. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And this is from Mr. Cook. And this is also a screenshot that you took from online postings of Mr. Cook. Yes, sir. Can you read this onto the record? From John Cook, he states, Somebody just told me that Jeremy said on his video tonight that A&E is canceled because of an agreement problems between him and them. You think maybe it was the hundreds or maybe thousands of phone calls they got? I have the checked. On what basis? Video tape, they received their name. More surprising than that coming. Um, well, actually, this one is true because, wait, hold on. Amy is canceled because of agreement problems between. Yeah, Amy, this one is actually true because Amy cancels him because of his um, actions. Okay. Towards. Hold on, us nope. nope, this is not your opportunity to testify. The okay, objection got it. is overruled. You may proceed, Mr. Heller. Got it. Um, and A&E actually approached me and wants all of my videos that have to do with Crook and Lynette. And we came to a conclusion, an agreement, a contractual agreement on the price per video. But I would not allow them to have any editing rights whatsoever. In other words... As it's packaged, this is the storyline, this is how it has to be shown. They wanted it for Neighborhood Wars, and I would not give them edit editing rights, which meant 
I canceled the deal. And they had stated, if you change your mind, please let us know as soon as possible. And frankly, at this point, I may just let them have everything. They want all crook, all Lynette. It might, might be as good as Shark Week. And again, this... Should I continue? I didn't read it all. Please, fail. you okay. can just start from the end here. That might have done it. That might have done it. More surprises than that coming. Uh, so again, does this lead you to believe that Mr. Hales or Mr. Cook continues to monitor your channel, monitor your life on a regular basis? Yes, sir. And it, it leads me to believe that there are more unsafe things for my life in Otter Creek from Mr. Cook. Now showing you plaintiff's exhibit J. Is this within the recent of the last month or so? Yes, sir. I'm now showing you another post made by Mr. Cook. Uh, do you recognize this post? I do. Uh, is this another post made on my... I object. On what grounds? This, this was put out by Milk, the YouTube channel. channel. Overruled. And this post here was posted by whom, Mr. Hales? It was posted by John Cook. And what did he write there? He writes to Shark in memory of Jeremy Hales. When someone says in memory, what does that lead you to believe? Death. And is that lead you uh, to I didn't see that in memory. I object because that Overruled. is definitely not mine. Overruled. Again, Mr. Cook, you'll be given okay. an opportunity uh -huh. to present your yeah. testimony and evidence and to explain any of the exhibits that you feel is necessary. So overruled. Okay. So just to, to sum up what we've seen through exhibits here, A through J, um, there have been signs posted in May, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, in June and July, there have been continued online harassing messages. Yes, sir. Those messages have continued into August? Yes, sir. Continued into September? Yes, sir. Uh, they are on a regular basis, is that correct? Daily, the only day that I don't know that there have been any messages yet are today. Um, I object, Your Honor, and I want to see every message from every day from me. Overruled, I will tell you that then I will tell all of you that the court will only consider evidence that it has in front of it. The court does not consider statements such as every day or this always happens. The court does not consider that to be evidence. The court only considers to be evidence what it has in front of it as far as specific dates, specific times, and specific messages. So as far okay, so as hearsay. as far as your concerns, Mr. Cook, about the court taking into consideration statements such as this happens every day or this happens all the time, the court does not consider that to be evidence and only considers evidence what it has placed in front of it as far as specific testimony or specific evidence. Mr. Heller, continue. All right. And Mr. Hales, part of this involves two specific instances where your life has been threatened. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, the first instance was in about May of this year. Is that correct? It would have been probably June. Okay. And in June, can you tell the court what happened in June? Yes, I was driving from my home to my other building where I work, and I was recording for the purposes of protection, not only of myself, but others in the town of Otter Creek. And Mr. Cook came outside of his camper and he pointed a firearm at me. I object. Overruled. And so when he did this, did that put you in fear for your safety? Yes, sir. Uh, someone brandishing a firearm over these arguments you've been having makes you believe what? That my life is in danger. Do we have the video? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So what exhibit are we calling this? Let's see Can I object to the video? This will be exhibit K. Because it was altered. No. You can present any testimony or evidence that it. you feel necessary when it is your opportunity. But at this point, okay. I am going to allow the video. I'm just going to assist with the technology. Wrong video. Mr. Hales, I'm now showing you a video that
this is marked as Exhibit K. Are you familiar with this video? Yes. Did you take this video? Yes. Um, now, can you give the corpse some context of what we're about to see? You're about to see Mr. Cook put his hand, his right hand, into his pocket, pull out a firearm, point it at me, put it back into his pocket, and then depending on how long the video is, he pulls the firearm out again, flips it in the air, puts it back in his pocket. Now showing you this video that you took. Howard, aren't you supposed to be in the hospital with septic? Aren't you supposed to be in a big horror movie? Well, if I was, people would actually watch and listen. They don't listen to you. Oh my goodness. Uh, so that point right there, at the very end of the video, I'm going to go towards the end of the video. It's somewhat fast and hard to see. What did Mr. Cook take out of his hands here? Firearm. And so because you're, it's, is it fair to say you're tech savvy? Yes, sir. And that was able to take the screenshot that we saw previously in Exhibit H? Yes, sir. And that is of the firearm being held by Mr. Cook? Yes, sir. Uh, and so this puts you in fear for your safety? Yes, sir. And when approximately was this? This was this past summer. I believe it was June. And then after this in June, was there another incident where Mr. Cook brought up a firearm to you? Yes, Mr. Cook saw me drive by his place and then... I object hearsay uh, unless he can Hold prove on. it. Hold on. Because it never happened. Stop. I'm only susta I'm sustaining okay. it because Mr. Hale said that you, Mr. Cook, saw him drive by. There's no way that Mr. Hales could know what you, Mr. Cook, saw. I can prove it, but the judge doesn't know this yet. Crook is so stupid, he filmed himself going over and stalking me. And then he lies under oath about it. And we've got him in federal court. We're going all in, all after him. Beyond perjury here, stating, well, you know what, I'll let you watch the rest. But here's what he posted. How stupid can you be posting videos online that incriminate yourself? Well, I'm heading over to the Jeremy's house. I think I just seen the mayor's husband taking stuff to Jeremy. Yes, there he goes. Uh-huh. Yep. We'll wait for him to come off the property. Whenever you hear Crook give testimony under oath, make sure you take this video and you say, okay, what's truth and what's the lie? Because he's completely and totally perjured himself, which is a major criminal offense. Well, so, let's just go to, so as you're leaving your property, who is waiting for you outside of your property? Mr. Cook is. And when Mr. Cook is outside your property, what does he do? He, I object. Overruled. Mr. Cook waits for me to exit my property. And when he waits for you to exit, and when you see Mr. Cook, tell me, describe the interaction. When I see Mr. Cook, I get out of my vehicle. I am frustrated. I am tired of being harassed and being stalked by these individuals. I approach Mr. Cook, as he said to me before, as we saw in the last video, he would go toe to toe with me at any time. I say, let's go toe to toe. He tells me, touch my truck, you'll see what goes bang. And I object. Overruled. And when he says, touch my truck, see what goes bang, what does that make you believe he has? He has a firearm and he's willing to shoot me. What is the date of this interaction? To the best of your knowledge, what's the date of this? July. Time. So this video is actually being taken by Mr. Cook, is that correct? This video is being taken by Mr. Cook. And this was posted online, is that how you have a copy of it? Yes. 
All right, I'm now showing you uh, video two, which is on flash drive marked as exhibit K. Stop oh, oh, you're fucking You're not gonna own your own. You're on it. I object. This is not the start of the video. This is how he alters them. Yes, sir, even though that is not my vehicle. Does that make you feel concerned for the safety of yourself and anyone who would visit you on your property? Yes, sir. Uh, that he's trying to film their vehicles as they're coming and going from your property. Yes, sir. for the purpose of harassing you. Yes, and I agree, as Mr. Cook said, that's not the beginning of the video. The, there is another video that Mr. Cook has posted, which he says, I just saw Jeremy, I'm going to follow him. I object, because you're going to see the video. Overruled. So at this point, Jeremy, you've had constant online posting uh, has, has Mr. Cook posted your public information as well? Yes, Mr. Cook has posted my address. He has also posted my private personal phone number. I object. Overruled. How has this affected your physical health? My physical health right now is a bit uh, out of control. The doctors, because of all the fear and the stress, have now put me on medications for my high blood pressure due to all the stress. Uh, we live daily in fear of what could happen here in Ohio and the aspect of fear of even returning to Otter Creek in Jack, Florida. You have proof that the doctor just put you on medicine Overruled. within the last couple of months. Overruled. That is not required. Testimony related to mental and or physical distress is sufficient. This court is not required to have documentation from a physician. Yet another shining moment of complete and total stupidity, dumbness, ignorance from Crook. I actually have my medication and all my documentation from my doctors right there in court with me. Not to mention, I have the 13 signs that were put up by Lynette and him. So Jeremy, to be clear here, the stress of this has caused you to have high blood pressure. Did you have high blood pressure before the harassment by Mr. Cook? No, sir. I was not medicated. I have just, as the date here states, have been medicated as of June due to all of this. Um, and so you're in fear that if the court doesn't, um, doesn't grant this protection order that you don't have safety to go back to your house in Otter Creek. Correct. And, and with this situation, there have been messages saying in memory of Jer Jeremy Hales, is that correct? Yes, sir. There have been... Threats of touch my truck, see what goes bang, is that correct? Yes, sir. He's brandished a firearm at you? Yes, sir. He's posted yes. about your comings and goings? Yes, sir. And the combination of this continuous pattern of behavior has left you feeling unsafe? Yes, sir. And you're asking for this court's help? Yes, please. Nothing further at this time, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> so, Mr. Cook, please this is your opportunity to cross-examine Mr. Hales. This is not your opportunity to give your own testimony and evidence. 
You will be given that opportunity under oath, but this is not the time. This is your opportunity now to ask Mr. Hales questions on cross-examination based on the testimony that he gave. So you may proceed. Or you can waive your right Mr. to cross-examination. Okay. No, no, I've got a bunch of his, a bunch of his stuff and video that I would like to play. So, Mr. Hales, is this even about, just, no, I'm not going to start there. I'm going to do something different here. Mr. Hales, have we ever met the state of um, Ohio? I gave previous testimony that we met in Florida, in Otter yes Creek. No. We, we've met in Florida, uh, Otter yes Creek. Yes or no? Have we ever met in the state of Ohio? Just say yes or no. Just say yes or no. He can require on cross-examination that you answer a question by yes or no. No. Have I ever been to your house, to a store, met you in a park, threatened you in any way, in the in the state of Ohio, you have threatened me online, which crosses no, state barriers. No, yes, no. Have I threatened you in person in the state of Ohio? Not in person, no. Um, I don't know if I can do this one, but I'll try. Mr. Hales, have I ever asked you for money? Me? me. Yes. Can you please present that to me? I can present. Otherwise, it's hearsay. Hold on. Let him answer the question. You asked a question. Have I ever asked you for money? Right. His response was yes. I can present. Hold on. You followed up with present or tell me when. That's what he was trying to do. So give him an opportunity to answer the question. I can present screenshots and I cannot present evidence of verbal of you asking me money in person. I do not have that on video. So you can provide a screenshot of me asking you for money. I can provide because screenshots. If can, because if you can, I want to see it. Otherwise, this is more hearsay. Objection, move to strike. It's not a question. Show. I'm asking him to show me the screenshots. Hold on. He said hold, he on. Hold, hold on. Mr. Hales? I don't have the screenshots on me. Okay, move on. Mm. Mr. Hales, did you post this post? I'll object to this unless it was sent to the court in advance. Your Honor, you have a hundred pages of this on your desk sent to us of all sorts of this. Hold on. Is this included in the packet that was sent by Federal Express previously to the court? Well, I'm sure it is. Everything else, I mean, you've got over 100 pages okay. of, threat, of threats and everything. Mr. Cook, it is not my job and it is not plaintiff's counsel's job to search through this documentation. So if you can pinpoint me as to where this document is, then I am happy to allow cross-examination on it. Otherwise, I will not. I'm, it's right there with Jeremy Hale's ID number and everything, right on it. In the interest of moving everything along at a quicker pace, I will indicate that the court does have a document within its packet. It appears to be about midway through, even though I said I wasn't going to look through the packet for stuff, 
It appears Thank to be you, about Honor. midway through. Did you find it, Mr. Heller? I believe I did, Your Honor. Okay. So, Mr. Cook, if you are going to ask questions on this document, we are going to mark it as Exhibit 1. I'm going to put a 1 in the copy that I have. You will refer to it as Exhibit 1. Okay. Mr. Hales, did you write the authorities are know everything that's going on? So, next going to be shutting down Lynette and Septic Boys com completely and totally one other and should do the right thing. They should do the right thing and get away by Felicia and way and one way or another, they will be gone. No. That is a personal threat. I understand what he's trying to read. Sounds like Lynette wrote it, but this guy can't read. He's that dumb. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody else out there that may have some type of impairment or maybe didn't even learn how to read, but he's had every opportunity in his life. This is just how stupid he is. And everybody knows that I have grammar and syntax and sentence structure and I use punctuation exactly opposite of what he just attempted to read. Somebody copied my video. Yeah. You may ask your next question, Mr. Cook. <laughs> Mr. Hales, is the only time, is the first time we ever met when you showed up at my property while Mike and my neighbor, my, my neighbor Mike, were cutting up a tree and you showed up with a piece of equipment you did not know how to use and basically left because you were getting in the way. I'm going to object to that question. There's, there's too many layers to it. We need a simple one question at a time, Your Honor. Sustained. So, so hold on. So, Mr. Cook, break your questions down into shorter, concise questions. That was a multi-part question. So you okay. can ask the question, but ask it in smaller bites. All right. Mr. Hales, the first time we met, Was it in my driveway? Yes, it was on North Otter Creek Avenue in Otter Creek, Florida. Did you show up with a piece of machinery you were clueless to know how to work? No. Were you basically asked to leave because you were making my other neighbor upset because... Right before that, you attacked him online? No. And I needed his? Uh, I needed his help more than I needed his. That's not a question. No. Then I'll end it at, at uh, I needed him more. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Is that a question? Yes. Then my answer is still no. So you weren't asked to go? No. Okay. Mm, you gotta find a post on this. But again, you have the post on it. That's going to be the testimony. Mm. 
Mr. Hales, is this court case about harassment and abuse, or is it more that you're trying to silence my voice here in Otter Creek about you? This courtroom and hearing is about a civil protection order for my safety and safety from you and Lynette Preston. So, um, I have a video here, Your Honor, stating that this is not about um, harassment and um, everything else, he says. It's about to bankrupt us. And this is him saying it right to the video. It, it's got nothing to do with it. Yo, okay, wait. So I don't have a copy of the video in order to submit that into evidence. I appreciate that you were in Florida and we are in Ohio. The court has well, given, the court has allowed you to participate in this hearing via Zoom, but the rules of evidence don't change. If I don't have a copy of the video here, then I will not allow it as presentation of evidence. We were told by the clerk of courts that we were not even allowed to send in videos or information. It wasn't until two days after we talked to that person that somebody else came on and told us who uh, that we could do it, and we only would had a chance to overnight those packages to you, and not pull up the videos. Those so we were actually lied. We were actually lied to by the one person in the clerk of courts. Okay, the clerk of courts is not the magistrate. I do not know right. who you spoke with, so we will proceed. I will not allow presentation of anything that is not currently within the possession of the court. Do you have any other questions on cross examination for Mr. Hales? I'm looking here. No, the other stuff is going to be in my the last thing where I'll show it. Wait, let me make sure that up here. Oh, Mr. Hales, did you say online that you wanted my child removed and given to you so you and Mark could adopt her? No. Okay. <laughs> Does that conclude your cross-examination, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Heller, any redirect? No, you're not. Okay. Oh. Nope. That oh, concludes was... your... Nope. You said that concluded your questioning, so you're... Okay. Done. All right. All right, Mr. Heller, are you calling any witnesses? One final witness, Your Honor. Okay. He's calling George next to go head to head with Meth Mouth himself, Septic Boy, John the Crook. Are you ready to rumble?